Hi guys, so for today's discussion, we are to continue with our series of techniques in forecasting. And this time, this is about exponential smoothing with trend adjustment. Now, let's define first. So, this is used when a trend is present. So, exponential smoothing must be modified. So, since my trend na involved, so you have to also include the adjustment of the trend. Now, the formula is the forecast including trend is equal to the exponentially smoothed forecast plus the exponentially smoothed trend. So, this is uh, yung uh, forecast including trend is shortened to fit. Uh, sub t and then your exponentially smoothed forecast is shortened to f sub t and then syempre the trend is shortened as t sub t so t the small t there uh, represents the time period t so you can also use i if you like now for the formula so this is the uh, the actual formula for f sub t and t sub t so, for F sub T, you have your alpha uh, multiplied by the previous actual or A sub T minus 1 plus the quantity 1 minus alpha multiplied by the quantity F sub T minus 1 plus T sub T minus 1. And then for uh, the trend naman, so we have the following formula. So, this time, the smoothing constant is the... Uh, is beta. So, this is your uh, quantity F sub T minus F sub T minus 1 plus T quantity 1 minus the beta and then multiplied by T sub T minus 1. So, just to define each variable. So, A sub T minus 1 is your previous actual. So, your actual demand or actual um, value or actual data so in your a sub t minus uh, minus one and then your f sub t minus one is your previous forecast and then syempre yung t sub t minus one is the previous trend alpha is a smoothing constant and then beta is the smoothing constant for the adjustment now let's proceed with an example Determine the forecast for period 6 using exponential smoothing with trend adjustment if the forecast for period 1 is 11 and the trend is 2. So we are to use an alpha of 0.2 and a beta of 0.4. Now take note that in this type of examples or using this technique, laging given yung, um, yung forecast and yung trend. So we have the following um, period with so yung ating mga data. So you have your preview, uh, your period, actual, and then you have your forecast, and then the trend, and then yung forecast with trend or yung fit. So we have the following data. So ito yung tabular form or the tabular solution for this technique. So, syempre, if we are to solve for this one, so, let's just use uh, a pink ink. So, dahil ang fit or yung ating uh, forecast into the trend is just the sum of your F and T. So, that's 11 plus 2. So, that is 13. Now, uh, if you remember the formula of or if nag-take note kayo ng formula kanina. So, may technique kasi dito on how to uh, solve this one faster. So, balikan natin yung formula kanina. Ayan. So, si F daw is ang kanyang mga ini-involve ini lang is yung previous actual and yung F plus T. But, take note that this one is also your fit. ba? So, yung previous fit natin. So, kaya later on, we know kung ano yung dalawang variables lang na involved. So, we have your previous actual and yung fit from the previous period. So, balik tayo sa solution. So, again, nasaan ang previous actual? Kasi we are to solve this one. Ito yung missing eh. So, we have to know 
the forecast for period 2. And kapag ito tayo nakatungtong, so ang titignan lang natin is yung 12 and yung 13. Now, if we are to plug in the values of 12 and 13 inside the formula for Ft, so that's alpha, which is 0.2 in the given example. So, 0.2 times 12 and then plus 1 minus 0.2 and then we multiply that by 13. That should give you an answer of... So, burahin muna natin siya. So, that is 12.8. Okay. So, now that we have the uh, the forecast, so next is trend. So, balikan ulit si formula. So, kay trend, ang hinahanap lang or yung involved lang na, na variables is your current forecast and then the previous forecast and then yung previous trend. Now, yung current forecast, since tayo ay nakatungtong na kay period 2, so that is the forecast for period 2. And then, yung ating previous forecast, again, nakatungtong na tayo ngayon kay 2, so yung ating previous forecast is yung forecast sa period 1. So again, that's the difference between your, your current forecast and then yung isa naman is yung previous forecast. So, kung dito naman tayo nakatungtong, ang titignan naman natin is itong dalawang ito. So, we have 12.8 and 11. So, 12.8 is your current forecast. 11 is your previous forecast. And then, yung ating previous trend is yung tulang. So, yun lang yung ating kagamitin na variable. So, again, looking back on our, uh, or on, on our formula, so, yung beta is multiplied by the difference of the two and then plus one minus beta and then you multiply that with the previous trend which is two in this case so if we are going to again uh, plug that in the formula so that should give us an answer of 1.92 and then again ang forecast with trend naman is just adding 12.8 and 1.92. So, 12.8 plus 1.92 is 14.72. Let's remove the marks. So, para malinis lang yung ating solution later. Okay, sorry. So, next. So, let's use another color para hindi kayo malito. So, nandun tayo nakatungtong kay period 3. Again, ang ating titignan is your previous actual. So, kung ako ay nakatungtong na kay 3, my previous actual is yung actual ni period 2. And then, yung previous fit is yung fit ng period 2. Which is again, 17 and 14.72. So, if we try to plug that in the formula, so it will give us an answer of 15.80. So, let's just write 15.80. Alright? Now, next naman is yung trend. So, trend for period 3. Again, we are to use these two values and then yung nasa taas ko na uh, trend value which is yung 1.92 so it's just 15.18 uh, minus 12.8 and then yung ating previous trend is 1.92 so it should give us an answer of 2.1 so 2.1 and then again for the fit so we are just to add 15.18 and 2.1 which will give us an answer of 17.28. Alright? So, last one, just for a better clarification. So, in this time, we are to solve for the forecast for period 4. So, ang ahanapin ko, titignan ko lang na value is yung 20 and yung previous na 
feet. So, if you plug that in the formula, again, that should give us an answer of 17.82. Next, trend naman. So, again, from this point, yung minus ko kay 15.18. And then, yung 2.1 yung gagamitin natin for the previous trend. It should give you an answer of 2.32. And then, finally, add yung dalawa, 17.82 plus 2.32. That should be 20. Point fourteen. So basically, we are just going to continue uh, papunta dun sa pang 6th period. So take note na yung feet ng 6 ang nawawala. So kasi maraming nag nagkakamali dito na pag nakuha na itong F dito, okay na, tapos na. So mali yun. So you have to compute for the forecast including trend for the period na hinahanapan ng value. Okay, so if we continue that um, technique or yung method na yun, it should give us a final answer of 24.89 for period 6. So that concludes exponential smoothing with trend adjustment. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in our next video.